Hello friends, welcome to channel 11. My previous demo, I showed how to create, uh, uh, how to set up the Microsoft Azure account and how to create queues and topics in uh, Microsoft Service Bus. So I explain now I will show you how to send a message to the queues which I created, how to receive a message from that queue. So this is my queue at present, uh, I have created my previous demo, my first queue and there is no messages here now, message, this is active, message count 0, active message 0. So if you see here is nothing is uh, there, active messages. So now I will show you how to send a message to this queue. So I already, uh, since uh, for time, uh, time saving time, I already create the code. As I mentioned in my previous demo, so to connect that my queue, first we need a connection string. So to get the connection string, we have, we have to go to shared access policies and root, me root message shared key. Here you have the connection strings. So from here I please take the primary connection string. This is my connection string to connect this service bus. So, so I took this one. This one I copied this one. And uh, this is the my code to publish uh, a message to that queue. First we need to install the Azure messaging service bus from NuGet package. So if you go here and manage NuGet. So I already installed as a mission Azure message service bus. So if you search here Azure message messaging service bus. So you will get this option and in just install. So once you get installed that to your project, then this is the sample, this is the code to, to connect, connect to that queue. So first we have to create the service bus client and I have to create the variables for service bus client as well as service bus sender. And uh, for time for the demo purpose so i'm just in a, how many uh, messages I, I i create the variable count iteration count so i given three so once you create variables for these three then you have to create object for the service bus client and please pass that to that connection string which you have copied uh, here primary connection string this one and pass here in this constructor of this service bus client so now i have created object for the service bus client with connection string after that uh, the sender which i have variable i am sending uh, object of this client dot create sender and in this create sender in this method it's first accept that my queue so since uh, if you know that this is my queue name so this is the name my queue name my first queue so the same thing I have given here. This is my queue name which I have already having in my Azure service and I am assigning uh, object uh, uh, means response of this method to client uh, this method to sender. So my uh, project my two steps are done. So I have created object for service first client and pass construction and uh, I, I called a method called create sender and uh, pass my, my, my queue name 
so the response got assigned to sender so the two steps as stem so now since i wanted to send a message a batch of uh, a single i wanted to send a batch batch of three so i created object for the service as message batch so here you have to call again create message batch async of sender method and assign that response back to message batch service bus message batch and loop through your uh, mean message count number and send a message so in message batch try send try add messages and in this method in this method accept the service message class in that i am passing the number so message so it, it gets loops three times so three messages are going to add to my message batch so now i am having three messages added to my message batch this is another step and the final step is the i am going to call i am going i am going to call the sender me async method of send message with that uh, message with that messages so i am i am i am send i am calling the send message async method of sender message with messages batch so once these steps are done and I'm, if i run that uh, this program so it should send three messages to to this queue with this uh, message uh, uh, i mean with this message so after that finally you need to dispose the all uh, sender and client objects so if you if you run this program and you are going to see three queues in that uh, queues list and with uh, with messages so let me go and run that so at present my queue should be empty count should be empty this is my queue so there's no active messages right present now let me go and run that so uh, since this first time i will run the step by step so my client object has created with the connection string so i am creating a create sender with my queue and i am creating batch and i am looping and adding all my messages to that batch finally i am sending the message to that queue now so it got succeeded if you see that the output a batch of three messages has been published to that queue so there's nothing error here so let me go and see my queue now So I refresh that. If you see that three active messages has been added to this queue. So I hope you understand right how to uh, call a uh, queue from shishar.net and uh, create a messages to that queue. So my next uh, coming uh, next I will show you how to receive these messages for from the cshop.net so i already i already having that code so i'm going to find uh, the receiver this is my receiver so if you see my receiver code the these steps are same until here and here i am i'm 
I am calling create processor. So sorry, this is service bus processor and a pro the processor that reads and reads and processes the message from the queue. That's the usage of service bus processor. The client is client that wants the connection and can be used to create sender and receivers. So this is the definition. So once I create an object for the my service bus client and create processor with the my valid queue name and assign back to my processor. So now processor having ready to receive the message. Here we have we have to subscribe the uh, those messages we and handle that. So now I am subscribing here uh, process messages sync if success this this is going to handle if failure this is going to handle so my handler where i am going to receive arc start so in this process message event arcs having a message dot body so from there i am going to receive the messages since I am passing a string, so I am getting the string here and displaying console on the right line. So once uh, this message is received, then we have to complete that message and delete from the queue. So, and if any error happened, I am going to write that to that uh, uh, console and completing that. So once after done, once after this handled, so this is asynchronous, so it will go into, uh, means once this uh, we are handled, then we start processing async. So once it is start processing, uh, the, uh, so uh, we are, it is going to uh, read those messages and, and, and uh, call these handlers automatically. So let's see that, let's run this again. I hope you understand via simple steps. So, a processor and handle. I'm subscribing now. If I if I hit uh, start processing, this method it's going to read those messages and uh, assigning uh, subscribers of handler or these handlers. So let's see that. Yeah, if you see that received message one, message two, message three. So it means it's if once it is received, it's deleted from that queues. So if I refresh here, I should it should be zero. So because there's nothing, uh, uh, I have read all the messages. So once read, it automatically de deleted from there. So, I hope you understand how to uh, send a message to the queue and how to read the message from the queue. Please uh, watch my videos and share your feedback. Thank you guys. Have a nice day.